Hello again, Jungle Explorer here, and today I'm coming back at you with another product review, another fishing product from Gautur. Um, this is the uh, Gautur uh, spinning reel, the GT1000V model. Um, according to, uh, let's see here, this has got a uh, 5 to 1 um, gear ratio, 6.1 ball bearing, or 6 plus 1 ball bearing, uh, a 3.5 uh, kilo uh, drags, I mean, I'm sorry, 7.5 kilo drag, that would be, oh, approximately 16 pound drag. Um, line capacity on this is, uh, oh, it's in uh, millimeters, so I'm not sure what that is, but um, it says point, point zero, zero point 0.15 is 100 and 80 meters I guess that would that, that, that would be so I'm not real sure uh, you know um, this is a reel from China so everything's in metric um, says aluminum long stroke spool design smooth micro adjustable drag system excellent line lay oscillate oscillation system uh, handle left or right changeable strong nylon body multi-disc drag system with Japanese oiled felt drag washers and computer designed balance rotor for less vibration and power gear drive equipped for higher strength and better smoothness uh, catch your rates and your enjoyment okay well let's see here let's pull it out of the box and see what it looks like it's a really nice looking little reel I especially love this little collapsible handle design there so uh, it makes it packable you can put it away you know, on spinning reels, that's a big problem. That reel sticks, the handle sticks way out there, gets in your way when you're trying to put it away. With this thing, it's simply just, boom. You know, you can close it up. Um, feels like it's maybe a pot metal or, or aluminum uh, on the handle there, so that's good. And of course, you can pull this off the, on this side, switch the handle. Um, come on now. Almost. Switch the handle to the other side. Put it over here, turn it to a right-handed model. Very simple there. Boom. Done. So, there you have that. It has an anti-reverse on it. Either way. That sounds good. Feels real smooth. I actually like it in the left handle the left handle uh, side over on the left side I kinda have a unique way of fishing um, I, I, I'm a right-handed person who actually prefers to reel with my left hand rather than my right hand um, when I was a little kid my dad we were really poor and uh, could only afford a left-handed reel for me so I, I learned how to reel with my left hand even though I'm a right-handed person so in a lot of my fishing videos if I'm using right-handed reels, uh, instead of having the, like on a bait casting reel or a uh, spin cast or whatever, instead of having the reel up top reeling like this, you'll see I'll have the reel on the bottom reeling like that. And you might th think that I don't know how to fish. I've actually fished all over the world for more than 40 some odd years. Um, but uh, it's just when I was a little kid, I had a left-handed reel and I learned how to reel with it and that's how my brain got trained. So... Uh, you know, don't don't consider that a lack of experience. It's just uh, the way I feel comfortable reeling. So, anyways, this is a nice little reel from Gautur here. Um, I've had some Gautur fishing products before. I've always been impressed with them. You know, one of the things that, uh, that you know, people today, uh, there's this word cheap. And when we say the word cheap, we think about something that is garbage. But in this case, we're not going to call this cheap. We're going to call this low cost. This really feels like a high quality reel. Um, and, and the products that I've had from Gautur before were all high quality. They were low cost, but they were not cheap. And I've never had one break on me, and they're still still functioning. Gautur uh, saw that I was making reviews for them and uh, because I wanted to and sent me these uh, to look at. So uh, I told him I'd make a review on these things here. So I'm just going to do that. Um, it's real nice feeling here got a little drag there the the drag system has a little bell ring to it and that's good cool tightening that up okay 
Yeah, yeah. So flip it out there. Now, well, I'm go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a uh, a rod here. And Gautura also sent me this nice telescopic sword, uh, carbon fiber rod. So I'm going to pop it out here and go ahead and put it out. And let's uh, let's put, attach it up here. Oh yeah, that feels real nice. Look at that. Really smooth bearings on that thing. Just just spins around. It's like butter. I really like that. Um, but the real test is going to be. Um, it, you know, fishing with it, catching fish with it. I know it's going to do well. It's built well. It just feels real solid as a little reel. I've had some, you know, you buy those little cheap junky reels uh, in uh, in the store, and you know, sometimes you're you're like, you know, are they any good? Um, this one really feels good. I've I've held some quality reels, and this feels like a quality reel. Um, I paid uh, fifteen ninety nine for this reel on Amazon.com, and uh, there's going to be product links underneath this video in the description area uh, underneath the, the video on YouTube. Uh, so the first thing is going to be a product link. So if you like this reel, decide you want to buy it, you can go down there, click on that, and it'll take you right to that uh, to that a uh, to the product page where you can buy this reel. Also, the rod will be on there too. Um, and I'm doing a separate review for this rod uh, so that uh, I can focus just on it. Anyways. Um, I'm going to take this reel out. I'm going to string up some line on it. I'm going to take this reel out and uh, I'm going to go catch some fish with it. And I'm going to put that on video. So, uh, next thing you'll see is me stringing some line on this reel. I'm going to put some uh, six pound Mr. Crappie line on it. I really like that, that line. And uh, I'm going to be taking it out to, uh, to a lake and catching some fish. And you're going to see that. So, I'll come back after all that and we'll talk about how it did and how it performed.
right, here we're back again. Just watched that exciting video there. Um, wow, uh, what a day. You know, uh, you saw the fish I caught in the video, and actually you didn't see all the fish I caught. I just put a few there. At the end of the video, uh, of the, the fishing part, you saw that I had two of those big fish. And that's because I actually caught another uh, one of those. Now that fish is called a buffalo or a freshwater black buffalo. Um, and uh, they're, they're very difficult fish to catch. And believe me, when I went fishing yesterday, I did not expect to catch one of those uh, on crappie jigs. Okay, uh, This is a, a jig you typically would use to catch a fish called a crappie. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, or some people call it a white perch. Um, but uh, that's what I was fishing for, maybe some sand bass, stuff I was jigging. Um, you just don't typically catch those fish on, on this type of, of uh, lure system. But, um, you know, they're, they're more of a bottom feeder and uh, they, they don't bite lures. And so, actually, I don't think really actually they were biting the lure. I snagged them. Um, and how I snagged them was, what you didn't see on the video is I snagged about 15 fish accidentally. And what it was is uh, the rod is very sensitive. This carbon, uh, this go turf carbon fiber rod that I was using is very sensitive, and I can feel the fish rubbing against the line because I was fishing straight down, hanging, and I, it would feel like a bite or something was pulling, and then I would jerk and sometimes I would snag them, and that's how I actually snagged those two big fish. Um, unfortunately, my camera mal malfunctioned, and I didn't catch the video of the second fight of that that bigger. One, if you look at that, that picture where I have the two fish in it, the bigger one, I'll put it right here. The bigger one, actually, I didn't catch the video of that one, but it was an amazing fight. I'm telling you what. Yeah, that sucker, that had, it, that was a fight, and I'm just really upset that I didn't catch that video. I uh, caught home, looked, and my camera had malfunctioned and stopped, stopped recording. Um, and so I need to kind of figure out what's going on there. But as far as this reel, um, this is a little bitty reel. Um, you know, you might even call this an ultralight reel. It's just a Model 1000, uh, so it's one of your smaller reels. And as you saw in the beginning, when I started fishing, I hooked into something. I had six-pound tests on here because I was expecting to catch, you know, small fish, crappie, sand bass, things like that. Six-pound test is totally adequate for that. Um, I hooked into something that was a massive, um, and it, it actually went forward a little bit. I didn't have it on that long. It didn't actually break my line. I felt it hit something like a rock. I could feel that it dragged on something and it cut my line. So there was something down there that fish swam pie by a, a, and it cut my line. So I might have actually got that fish in. Seeing how this reel performed, this uh, Gortour GT1000V, seeing how it performed later with the bigger fish, I have no doubt that I have. A, it has a very good drag system, um, very smooth. Um, it, it just really, when I had the big fish on, it just gave good. There was no jerkiness. It was a real smooth drag system. So uh, I probably could have landed that big fish, uh, on, even on the six-pound test, had I, uh, uh, you know, had the line not got cut. But anyway, so the reel performed amazing. It really is a nice little reel. I had to go to, I went to bigger, bigger line, uh, this 30-pound uh, this braid here. Now, I mean, this is a small reel, and you start putting heavy-duty uh, braid line on a very small reel like this, and if it doesn't have quality components inside it, it's going to break that reel. That reel's just not going to handle it. But you saw, you saw that fish, that big fish, I mean, and it was, it's tugging. And uh, even with this 30-pound braid and, and fighting that huge fish, this reel just perfect, never f faltered one bit. The drag system worked flawlessly. Um, on that second, the second one that I don't have the video of, I mean, it pulled massive amounts of line, just and uh, about a 20-pound fish on this little reel, and it just fought. And it took me about 15 minutes to get it in. And it's just a real, real uh, sad that I didn't catch the video of that, the, the footage of that. So, but uh, the reel handled both of those fish fine. Um, so, I'm going to say this is a really good reel. I mean, especially for the price. Uh, I think you would have to pay a lot more to, to get uh, somewhere else to get a reel of this quality. Um, you know, again, the collapsible handle makes it easy to store. Combined with this, you know, this rod right here, good grief, man, look at the pressure that was put on that rod. That was a big fish, and this is a telescopic rod, the sensitivity of the rod. So both of these products from GoTour really performed well, 
as you can see in the video um, they did really awesome especially this reel I'm really excited about this reel um, I'm gonna take it to Costa Rica with me in a couple of days I'm heading out uh, to uh, celebrate an anniversary with my wife and uh, I'm taking this in my backpack or in my luggage it's going to Costa Rica with me it went along with some jigs and I'm gonna see what I can catch there uh, I might even produce a, uh, another video um, with this this kit um, so um, you know once again um, this is some pretty good stuff from this go tour company and as I said before I have bought stuff from before it's all been good nothing's ever broke down on me so I'm just really liking this new stuff if you like this reel and you're interested in it I'm gonna put some product reviews down at the bottom of the video in the description area on YouTube just go down there um, and uh, you know, you'll see the product links there for both the rod and the reel you can click on those it'll take you to the amazon.com page where I purchased these um, that way it makes it easy for you to find exactly what I'm using here. Um, you, the price is just really unbeatable. Um, the quality is there to catch big fish with a small reel, you know. And so um, go ahead and check it out. Um, I enjoyed making this review. A lot of fun going out and fishing. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so if you do, please like, subscribe, and comment. And also remember to share my videos if, you, if you're on your Facebook or Twitter or some other Instagram whatever you know because every time you share one of my videos that helps me out that helps me be able to make more reviews like this to help more people make decisions on buying products so I've enjoyed this I hope you did um, again please like subscribe to my channel and comment and don't forget to check out my website thejungleexplorer.com this, this video as well as the review of the rod which I'm doing separately because I I actually bought these separate so I'm doing an individual review um, for each one I'm gonna use the same footage uh, in both because they're both they were both used but um, you know some people might be interested in the rod and not the reel so I'm gonna do these reviews separate for you um, on there those will be on my my website um, and also the product links will be on there too so until next time the jungle explorer signing out